The Flyaway Blanket by Alan Peterkin and illustrated by Emmeline Pigeon. It was a beautiful morning with just a little breeze, so Jake and his mother decided to hang the laundry outside to dry. Mama sang softly as she pinned socks and towels and t-shirts to the line. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up, high up, wave goodbye. Mama helped Jake hang his special blanket. At first, Jake didn't want to let go. The blanket was extra soft from so much love and from Mama's gentle washing. Mama told Jake the blanket would be dry in no time. She asked him to come sit in the sun with her. As Mama sang, they both got sleepy. Time to fly, touch the sky. No sooner had Jake closed his eyes than whoosh! Jake's blanket got snatched by the wind. It flew high up into the sky. First, it brushed against the apple tree where a mother bird was feeding her babies. Apple blossoms dropped onto their heads like little hats. They all watched as the blanket sailed higher. Chirp, chirp, chirp. It flew into the meadow where a calf was shivering by the stream. His mama snuggled close, trying to warm him up, but whoosh, the wind caught it again. The calf watched it fly into the farmer's garden. Mm. A mother rabbit and her baby were chomping on a big turnip. The blanket tickled their big ears, but did not stay. So the bunnies jumped higher than ever, trying to catch it. The blanket flew on and landed in a flower patch. A puppy grabbed the blanket and took it over to his mama, and they played tug of war. When both let go for just one second, whoosh, the blanket leapt into the sky. Woof, woof, woof. The wind changed direction, and the blanket flew past the puppy, past the bunny, past the calf, and their mamas. They all followed. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up, high up. The baby bird saw the blanket coming back. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Jake was still asleep. Wake up, wake up. What if Jake's special blanket flew away and waved goodbye forever? Suddenly, the mama bird flew straight up into the bright sky. She circled the blanket as all the others looked on. Then she gave it a little tug. Down, 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 tumbled the flyaway blanket right to where it belonged. The end. We wanted students to engage in vocal exploration, so we had them mimic different animal noises. We had the students use singing, speaking, whispering voices since all are used by mama in the book. Our book included a blanket that was flying away, so we decided to use scarves to mimic the movement of the blanket. So from our book, we also created a song where students were singing minor thirds to prepare them for singing Soul and Me. As Mama sang, they both got sleepy. Time to fly, touch the sky. No sooner had Jake closed his eyes than whoosh, Jake's blanket got snatched by the wind. It flew high up into the sky. First, it brushed against the apple tree, where a mother bird was feeding her babies. Apple blossoms dropped onto their heads like little hats. They all watched as the blanket sailed higher. What sound does a bird make? Chirp. Chirp, chirp, that's right. Let's all chirp like birds. Chirp, 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 chirp. chirp, chirp, chirp. It flew into the meadow, where a calf was shivering by the stream. His mama snuggled up close, trying to warm him up. But whoosh, the wind caught it again. The calf watched it fly into the farmer's garden. What sound does a cow make? Ooh. That's right, let's all moo like cows. Moo. A mother rabbit and her baby were chomping on a big turnip. The blanket tickled their big ears, but it did not stay. So the bunnies jumped higher than ever trying to catch it. Blanket flew on and landed in a flower patch. A puppy.
Fluffy grabbed the blanket and took it over to his mama. They played tug of war. When both let go for just one second, whoosh, the blanket leapt into the sky. What sound does a dog make? Woof. Woof, that's right. A big dog makes the sound. Woof, woof. Let's all woof like big dogs. Woof, woof, woof. 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 What sound does a little teeny tiny dog make? Yip, yip. That's right. Yip, yip. Let's all yip like small dogs. Yip, 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 yip. The wind changed direction and the blanket flew past the puppy, past the bunny, past the calf, and their mamas. They all followed. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up. The baby bird saw the blanket coming back. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Jake was still asleep. Wake up, wake up. What if Jake's special blanket flew away and waved goodbye forever? Suddenly, the mama bird flew straight up into the bright sky. She circled the blanket as all the others looked on. Then she gave it a little tug. Down, 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 tumbled the flyaway blanket, right to where it belonged. The end. Mama sang softly as she pinned socks and towels and t-shirts to the line. So when you sing softly or you talk softly, you're using your whisper voice. This is my whisper voice. Let's all say that. This is my whisper voice. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up, fly up, wave goodbye. When she sings the song, she's using her singing voice. This is my singing voice. Sing that with me. This is my singing voice. Good job. Mama helped Jake hang his special blanket. At first, Jake didn't want to let go. The blanket was extra soft from so much love and from Mama's gentle washings. Mama told Jake the blanket would be dry in no time. She asked him to come sit in the sun with her. So when I ask you guys a question, I'm using my speaking voice. This is my speaking voice. Say that with me. This, this is, is my speaking, speaking voice. voice. And Mama saying they both got sleepy. Everyone follow me with your blankets. Whoosh! Jake's blanket got snatched by the wind. It flew high up into the sky. First it brushed up against the apple tree where a mother bird was feeding her babies. Apple blossoms dropped onto their heads like little hats. They all watched as the blanket sailed higher. Chirp, chirp, chirp. They flew to the meadow where a calf was shivering by the stream. His mama snuggled close trying to warm him up. But whoosh, the wind caught it again. The calf watched it fly into the farmer's garden. Moo, moo, moo. A mother rabbit and her baby were chomping on a turnip. The blanket tickled their ears but did not stay. The bunnies jumped higher than ever, trying to catch it. Hop, hop, hop. The blanket flew on and landed in a flower patch. A puppy grabbed the blanket and took it over to his mama. They played tug of war. When both let go for just one second, whoosh, the blanket leapt into the sky. Woof, woof, woof. The wind changed direction and the blanket flew past the puppy, past the bunny, past the calf, and their mamas. They all followed. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up, high up. The baby bird saw the blanket coming back. Chirp, chirp, chirp. Jake was still asleep. Wake up, wake up. What if Jake's special blanket flew away and waved goodbye forever? Suddenly, the mama bird flew straight up into the bright sky. She circled the blanket and all the others looked on and she gave it a little hug down, 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 tumbled the flyaway blanket right back to where it belonged. Today we're going to learn Mama's song. So listen to me sing, and then you guys can sing it with me. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up, high up, wave goodbye. Listen to me and then echo. Time to fly, touch the sky. Time to fly, touch the sky. Fly up, high up, fly up, high up. Wave goodbye, wave goodbye. All right, best.
let's try singing it all together this time. One, two, ready, sing. Time to fly, touch the sky. Fly up, high up, wave goodbye. Again, two, ready, sing. Time to fly, touch the sky. Fly up, high up, wave goodbye. Beautiful singing. Now we're going to read our book, and this time when we get to Mama's song, we're going to sing it together. It was a beautiful morning with just a little breeze, so Jake and his mother decided to hang the laundry outside to dry. Mama sang softly as she pinned socks and towels and t-shirts to the line. One, two, ready, sing. Time to fly, touch the sky, fly up, high up. Wave goodbye. Mama helped Jake hang his special blanket. At first, Jake didn't want to let go. The blanket was extra soft from so much love and from Mama's gentle washings. Mama told Jake the blanket could be dry in no time. She asked him to come sit in the sun with her.